Hello, I'm Dr. Elise Starkingbar, Vice President of Medical Information at Theranica, the creator of Neurivia. I'm happy to share with you data and evidence, including clinical trials and world-world data from adults and especially from adolescents using the Neurivia REN device for the treatment of migraine. How is migraine defined in adolescents? Well, it includes attacks between two hours to 72 hours when not treated. It includes associated symptoms, which are nausea and or vomiting, photophobia and photophobia, sensitivity to light and to sound, and moderate to severe headaches. Migraine is not uncommon. It affects up to 40 million Americans and out of them, 7 million children and adolescents in the US. There is a higher incidence and prevalence in girls than in boys during adolescence. And this starts with puberty. Before that, similar um, prevalence. Children with migraine have often have family history of migraine. And according to the Childhood and Adolescence Migraine Prevention Study, children and students who suffer from high frequency headache experience more problems in school. Affecting treatments that limit out of classroom time should be therefore considered to allow students to attend and participate in their classes as much as possible. A third of the children and adolescents with migraine require therapy and chronic migraine, which is defined as 15 uh, migraine days, headache days a month or more, affects one or two percent of the teens. 2019, American Headache Society, together with the American Academy of Neurology, jointly published guidelines for the treatment of migraine, specifically for pediatrics population. In this approach, they incorporate four key components, acute treatment, prevention treatment, behavioral treatment, and educational headache hygiene, which includes proper sleep, diet, exercise, and relaxation. So let's make sure that we're aligned on these two main classes of migraine treatment, acute treatment and preventive treatments. The goal of acute treatment is rapid relief of migraine pain and associated symptoms. It is therefore taken at the time of a migraine, on, uh, at the onset of a migraine attack or near that time. The goal of preventive treatment is different. It is to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine attacks over time. Therefore, preventive treatment is taken in different ways, depending on a specific treatment, every day, every other day, every week, once a month, or even quarterly. There are different types and examples of prescribed uh, acute and preventive treatment. Uh, for acute, probably the most common ones that you prescribe to your patients are, or are familiar with are the family of tryptan, as well as GPANs and Ditans and ergots. And for under medication, the most there are a few different ones. The more classical and older treatments are topiramate, amitriptyline, and propenolol, which the last two are actually not FDA indicated for migraine, therefore prescribed off label. As well as CGRP MAVs, which are injections once a month, Botox, and G pants, the new G pants. The review is treatment that is FDA approved for migraine for both acute and preventive treatment. Now remember that Nerva is indicated from age 12. Well, this is really important because for this age group, there are very, very limited treatment options. So here you can see the one, the treatments that are left for adolescents, not much at all. Four types of triptan and topiramate and Nerva, as, as we mentioned, is indicated for both acute and preventive treatments for this age group. There are a lot of medications, but actually there is very little satisfaction. If you talk to patients and if you look at the literature and you talk to providers, despite a wide range of old, somewhat old, and even new approved prescribed medications, half of the patients do not refill their acute migraine prescription medication within one year. Between 3 to 13% of migraine patients are in preventive when 40% according to the American Headache Society, should receive preventive treatments. Why is that? Well, due to a few reasons. Low efficacy, intolerance to side effects, risk of medication, overuse headache, interaction with other drugs, and so on. 
And as a result, most patients do not adhere to their treatment, leading to a vicious cycle. No or delayed acute treatment and lack of preventive treatment result in migrant chronification, increasing attack frequency and severity. Going back to the AAN AHA approach for consideration for pediatric migrant treatment, Nerivio addresses three key components according to their recommendations acute treatment, prevention treatment, and it also includes uh, behavioral treatment within that. We're even now expanding the app to include hygiene, 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 as, hygiene as well. So, what is Nerivio? What am I talking about? Nerivio is advanced dual-use wearable device, remote electrical neuromodulation device. It is prescribed, FDA indicated for acute and or preventive treatment of migraine with or without aura in patients 12 years and older. This is an indication. It was designed specifically for adolescents and for adults. It is a non-invasive option. It has no pills and no needles. And what's better for adolescents than a device that is operated with a smartphone? Each device has 18 treatments, and if used for both acute and for preventive, it will last for approximately one month, every other day, um, and a few more acute treatments. All treatments last for 45 treat minutes, regardless of whether it's acute or preventive. So here are the indications, acute treatment upon the onset of migraine symptoms, and preventive treatment once every other day, every other day. Um, Nerivia has been shown to work really quickly and effectively to abort migraines and to reduce monthly migraine days. So how does it work? In both cases, the treatment itself is the same and very easy to use. You take the device, you place it on the upper arm or the outer side of the upper arm and press on the only button that's there to start the treatment. Then Everything else is done through an app from the phone, the Nerivio app. Each treatment lasts 45 minutes. And after that, during the treatment, patients can do whatever they want. If they go to school, they can study or they can study at home. They can socialize, they can eat, they can rest, whatever. A big benefit is that makes Nerivio attractive for adolescents is that it can be used discreetly under a sleeve, allowing teens to use it at school without everybody noticing. So how does it work? We know that for those with migraine um, disease, they have a decrease in one of their physiological mechanisms, a mechanism that's called conditioned pain modulation. When Arivia is turned on, it provides an electrical stimulation to activate specific nociceptive fibers, A delta and C nerve fibers in the location of stimulation in the upper arm. By doing so, the information goes through the arm to the brainstem. And then the brain recognizes this as a new pain message coming from nociceptive fibers. And it comes from a different location than the location of the migraine attack at the head. Also, by placing the, uh, the device remotely, it helps and allows relief for those who might have allodynia and don't want to put anything around their head. By activating the conditioned pain modulation pathway in the brainstem, this activates the descending pathway leading inhibitory signals, global inhibitory signals, to release serotonin and neuropenephrine and bring relief and freedom from migraine headache and from associated symptoms. Over time, for prevention, there's an increase in the conditioned pain modulation response and decrease, which leads to decrease in the number of migraine days. Now let's look at the scientific evidence supporting the review. There is a lot. While there are other migraine devices in the market, there was this, none of them have the breadth and the scope of Nerivia. Since 2019, Nerivia has had 20 peer-reviewed publications. The last one just this week, yesterday actually. These studies include data from over 15,000 patients who were uh, evaluated in clinical trials. I highlighted a few um, studies which I wanted to discuss today with you. In blue are the two pivotal randomized controlled trials comparing the review to um, placebo. One in acute and one in prevention. I highlighted another study 
blue, which is a um, combination of REN and the digital behavioral therapy that is within the app. These three studies are conducted were conducted in adults. And then I also highlighted in green studies in adolescents, which we'll, we'll talk about studies in um, chronic and non-chronic patients, comparison to drug, a large uh, real world evidence study with uh, 1600 patients and rent and benefits in adolescents. So you need to remember one slide for this talk, it's this one. This is your take home slide, showing results from the two pivotal randomized control trials with Neuroville. Those studies were designed according to the National Headache Society guidelines for studies in um, migraine and the endpoints. So it's important for those who are not familiar with migraine to briefly review the endpoints. For acute treatment, the metrics are measured after two hours from treatment initiation. Looking at pain relief and pain freedom at two hours. In addition, migraine studies also look at pain and relief from bothersome symptoms, nausea, vomiting, light, and sound sensitivity. So if we look at the first study, which is completed in adults with episodic migraine, a randomized control trial with 352 migraine patients who were randomized to Neurovia or placebo. In this study, the way you can see, the pain relief after two hours in adults showed that two thirds of the patients, 67% of the patients, who had pain relief after two hours, 39% of those who had a placebo device. Looking at pain freedom, which means no pain whatsoever after two hours, more than a third, 37% of the patients reported pain freedom after two hours, as opposed to 18% of the uh, those with a SIBO device. These are the two take-home numbers that you need to take for uh, acute treatment. Two-thirds of the patients reporting pain relief, and more than a third reporting pain freedom after two hours. On top of that, I, just for... Um, time constraints, I didn't include here the other additional data, but in that study also, Neurivia demonstrates relief from most bothersome symptoms and freedom from functional disability two hours post-treatment. And a large portion of the patients continue to demonstrate relief and pain freedom 48 hours from the REN treatment. And this is important because 48 hours is what led us to look at the and create a design study for prevention with when using the review every other day. So this brings me to the second um, pivotal study in again, prevention. This was also a randomized control trial. Patients were blinded to the treatment that they received uh, with 248 patients. The outcome, the end point here was reduction of monthly migraine days in patients who were treated every other day for the prevention of migraine. The study included both episodic and chronic adults, uh, adults with episodic and chronic migraine. And the efficacy here, the outcomes, the endpoints were uh, looking at comparing between baseline, four weeks before treatment of REN or randomization, to the last, to the second month of the intervention phase. And the endpoint is reduction in the number of migraine days. The study showed a reduction of four monthly migraine days, those who used the Nerevia device versus 1.3 migraine days in those who had the placebo. If you look at the average number of migraine days they had before treatment for about 12 days, you can see that there was a reduction in third of their migraine days on average per month. A post hoc analysis showed that the preventive impact kicks in already two weeks after initiation of the REN treatment. So again, this is your other message or number that you want to remember, four migraine days per month reduced from using the REN. Let's put this in context. <clears throat> in context of other migraine treatments, comparing data from this pivotal study to phase three randomized control studies um, in the literature, and the gray here represents the placebo groups per study, and the color bar, the intervention. And while this was not head-to-head -head, uh, comparison, the data shows that clinical, the real clinical efficacy is comparable to that of leading drugs. 
And the other side of efficacy, of the efficacy coin is of course safety. Nerivia had the lowest rate of adverse events and all Nerivia adverse events were mild, non-systemic and resultful after treatment. In the prevention randomized control trial, there were no device related adverse events at all. The third and last study in adults I wanna share with you, the first to the third component, key component in adolescence migraine treatment, behavioral therapy. We know that although there is a lot of evidence showing the importance of behavioral therapy for adolescents with, living with migraine, it can be very difficult for some patients to have access to such treatment, to behavioral treatment, given where they live and or the long wait times. The Nerivia app has a unique um, optional behavioral therapy that is embedded within the app, a video that shows that provides gear, what we call gear, guided intervention for education, talking about migraine biology and, and brain mechanism, how brain works, and relaxation, breathing, muscle relaxation, and mental imagery. Um, the retrospective match control real world study, we looked and compared patients who use Nerivio by itself with age and gender matched patients who use Nerivio with gear and saw an increase in the pain relief and functional improvement in those who combined the Nerivia with the behavioral treatment beyond that of REN itself. So now let's talk about adolescence. Um, for adolescence trial, we looked at adolescents age 12 to 17, and we did a prospective open label trial. And this trial included patients who were both episodic and chronic migrant patients. No device-related serious adverse events and no participants withdrew from the study due to adverse events. And <clears throat> if we look at the um, outcomes, I'm sure you, if you treat migraine patients, the uh, the first treatments that you use are over-the-counter medications and sometimes tryptans. And what you can see here in the post-doc analysis of the data is that Nerivio uh, stands out and suppresses uh, stronger than the treatment with effect of standard of care um, over the counter medications and triptans. I also told you earlier that Nerivia is app controlled and this means that all treatment data is saved and housed on a HIPAA compliant server which allows real world analysis. The cool thing is that we can look here in this data in the patient and see what happens in real world in clinical practice. So this allowed us to look at a large portion, large group of patients, 1,629 participants who conducted more than 13,000 treatments. Safety-wise, reported 0.18% uh, of uh, device-related adverse events were all minor, local, tingling, and local soreness on the arm, and nothing systemic. You can see here that the efficacy was replicated with 60 or 63%, 66% of the patients with pain relief and functional disability relief, 26% with pain freedom, 41% with pain functional disability relief. Another thing that we ask about is after two hours, we ask the patients, have you used any other medications in addition to Nerivio? And you can see that 64, for 64% of the treatments, Nerivio was used as standalone treatment. No need to combine it with another medication. If we look, if we combine Nerivio and Nerivio over the counter medications, in 83% of the cases, patients did not require the use of prescription medication to effectively treat their migraine attack. This shows that Nerivio provides a safe and effective option for the acute treatment of migraine in adolescents age 12 and above in clinical practice in real world. Another study with adolescents that was published just this week looked at frequent use of Nerivia for the acute treatment of migraine by adolescents. Frequent acute treatment led to the reduction, the mean number of migraine treatment days um, in subsequent months after the first month, suggesting potential migraine preventive benefits for men in this subgroup. The sizes that were similar to those found in the pivotal dedicated randomized control trial in adults. Before wrapping up, just one more thing that I want to highlight for you is the additional benefits of Nerivio. 
in its core, Neurivia is a REN treatment device. But being having that, it provides additional options and actually provides a wide solution for patients. From treatment, by guiding patients for optimal dosage, how to um, change the intensity of the treatment, which is set by the patients. It allows patients to monitor disease with an interactive headache diary. They can share their data with a healthcare provider or with their family members with just one click as a PDF. And the app also sends them alerts. For example, for prevention, they can schedule their um, prevention treatment regime every other day, and the app will send them alerts on the uh, on those days and the hours that you choose for that. And also sends them tips for improved outcomes based on how they use the device in their treatments. This all together, in addition, together with the behavioral therapy that's also embedded in the app, creates a platform that shows um, that maximize efficacy for the patients. And we see it, and we have evidence showing consistent efficacy, stable efficacy over long time periods, even for one month, for one year, with month to month uh, intense usage of the device. So to summarize, in conclusion, one in um, 10 or 11 children and adolescents suffer from migraines, resulting in a significant number of missed days of school and activities and functional disability. To date, over-the-counter options, uh, there are only over-the-counter options and limited tryptan options for acute migraine treatment and only one prevention treatment that is available for adolescents. Nerivio, on the other hand, provides a safe, effective, and non-invasive, pill-free, and needle-free option for these adolescents or to reduce pain in monthly migraine days. It's backed up with a large body of studies it uh, is not disruptive to their daily life, especially in the classroom. And it's safe with no serious or systemic adverse events. It also includes an embedded, embedded behavioral treatment option within the app. So taking this all together, it's time for you to add a review into your headache toolbox and treatment options as a first line treatment or as agent for acute and preventive treatment for adolescent migraine. Thank you very much.